Maryland home could be foreclosed by the end of the week at a house with significant local history. That's right. It played a key role during the 1960s civil rights movement. DC News Now's Dave Laval tells us why Freedom House may soon be just a memory. 430 Law Street in Aberdeen, better known as Freedom House. This is where the Freedom Riders gathered in the summer of 64 to discuss ways to desegregate the South. Janice Grant knows all about it. She lived it. Janice Grant has fond memories of Freedom House, which has stood since 1960. The land it stands on has been in Grant's family for generations, but she could lose all of it in foreclosure due to back taxes. It would be extremely difficult because it's civil rights is history, American history. The Freedom Riders met at Freedom House to plan voter registration drives in the South, especially Mississippi. It was important because they were American citizens who didn't have, who should have had the right to vote, but were not permitted. Grant drove herself there alone and quickly saw the dangers that awaited her and the others. Every night, a, a man from Mississippi would stand out with a gun to protect us. Grant did not escape the violence. And I came home with a bullet hole in the rocket paddle of my car. But I did, I outran the Klan. Can you imagine that? <laughs> While Grant survived, not all the Freedom Riders did. It really hurts uh, because uh, they were friends and I love them. Grant recalls Mickey Schwerner, James Cheney, and Andrew Goodman. The Klan, including law enforcement officers, killed the three men June 21st, 1964, hours after they left a black church that had been firebombed near Philadelphia, Mississippi. We were to call in at four, four o'clock every day to let them know we were safe. So when Mickey and uh, Andy and Jimmy did not call in, we knew something was wrong. Federal investigators found their bodies at an earthen dam 44 days later. An investigation revealed the killer shot Schwerner first. Two different people shot Andy, but they chained, and I don't tell you that, they chained Jimmy and beat him with chains. Before they killed Cheney, the murder spurred the passage of the Civil Rights Act on July 2nd, 1964. The law created as a result of a meeting in the home of Janice Grant, she is now fighting to save from foreclosure. In Aberdeen, Maryland, Dave Laval, DC News Now.